surprised! We're coming out on the rise with you. We're gonna help you get back in the saddle. We might have had a conversation in the salon about you needing a bit of moral support. She's miserable as well, and she likes you for some reason. Yeah, and I just want to get wasted, so... Vicky's gonna meet us there later. Yeah, uh, sorry, but I, I think I might have to take a rain check. I'm uh, gonna stay in, actually. Yeah, well, you know who else is staying in, don't you? Aaron, all snuggled up with Dr Hare. So come on, a bit of beefcake will do you the power of good. You're gonna enjoy yourself, even if it kills you. Oi, get your coat, you pulled. Spoken for, sorry. Painted the town rainbow with them. Robert's getting his mojo back. Um, I'm just checking, we are still casual. You still don't want tying down, right? Yeah, pretty much. Great. Might get my mojo back too, then. Uh, put her down. Hurry up, you. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Hey. <clears throat> it's me again. Um. Text me, will you? I'm getting worried now. Yeah, bye. David's not parking up out there, is he? Sorry. He just said he had to um, go to the cash and carry first thing and he's just not come back. <laughs> you two okay? Why? Well, you've barely said a word all day and the last time I saw him, he reckoned you were having an affair. I told him he was insane, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. So? So I, um, need to close up and then I need to do a stock take. Great. Need a hand? I uh, know. Great. I'll get stuck in. Aye, that's it. To me. To you. Take it easy, lad. Ah, who brought my paddy? My back seized up on the bill. He's too weak to lug bricks. Excuse me? He wasn't lugging anything. Mm, just picking up a brew, apparently. Absolute nonsense. I, I, I did the reach and... Uh, reach and twisting and it spasmed. It was a rather large mug, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're enjoying all this. My poor old rickety bit. Get off me, unless of the old. This is way over the hill tomorrow. <gasps> oh dear. Paddy must have a death wish. Mrs. What what now? Mrs. Gorgeous, youthful girlfriend, who I don't want to upset. Ever. You might want to keep your gob shut. Or else spasm some, something else. What's this? Well, it's for my painkillers. I'm, I'm gonna run out. What, already? They don't send you home with many. And why don't you pick it up today, then? Don't feel like it. Yeah, well, you will do when you're in agony. The chemist on the ring road is open late, mate. Yeah, we'll go and pick it up now, then, you plank. Oh, come on, I... I thought you wanted to help me out. What, you mean you want me to go and get it? While I cook tea. That'll swerve your cooking, sir. Not all of a pizza. Okay, I suppose. Should we get shark in? 
I'll be your wingwoman if you want. I, I think I can manage on my own, thanks. Well, go on, then. I have never... ...had my heart broken. Oh. Any chance of a book? Kitchen's closed, Sal's... Where are you off to? Taking Robert out to that new gay bar in Houghton. Who you been? Well, yeah, but Robert hates gay bars. He likes bloats quite a lot, though. Sometimes. He told me about Valentine's, by the way. Right. <clears throat> what were you doing, messing with his head like that? Do you know how hard it was for him to let you go? Yeah, of course I do. But you just casually tried kissing him? Well, it wasn't like that. OK, then. So how was it? I care about him, Vic, all right? I didn't mean to confuse things. But it definitely was a mistake. Yeah. So, if he met someone tonight, you'd be completely fine with that. Do you think you're looking after his kid or something? Oh, my God, we forgot the baby. Diane's having him. And he still haven't answered my question. Yes, I'd be fine with her. So why don't you come with us, then? No, I don't think so. Quiet night in with Alex, is it? No, he's meeting up with the mate after work. Right, taxi's here. Well, you know where we'll be if you change your mind. <laughs> oh. You guys another? I need to go and put my requests in. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Do you know what? You've got a really lovely accent. Hey, steady on. We'll end up with another husband. The gays sort of flock to me. It's a long story. <laughs> anyway, should we um, leave them to chat? It's nice to meet you, mate, but I, I said I'd help Peer out at the bar with the drinks. I'm sorry. Too. How'd you go on? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, the car's full of hops and stuff. We just need a place to set up now. What's this? Uh, just our microbrew business. You two don't muck about, do you? Well, we were hoping that they might be able to use your kitchen after ours, you know. Well, have you registered as a brewer? Not yet. No can do, sorry. Hashtag squad goals. Hashtag living my best life. Hashtag what happens in the club stays in the club. Oh, where's she gone? School disco. Oh, gay bar. Oh. No skin off my nose. Mm. Hashtag whatever you say. Maybe he went off somewhere with Jacob. Jacob's at his mates. It's not late, Dad. Did something happen at that hotel? What, sweetheart? <laughs> I was there... <clears throat> ..with Phil. Not like that. I... <sighs> when he first... ..came to the village, I didn't even recognise him. But he remembered me from years ago. And he's been trying to blackmail me. Blackmail? What for? I came up with this plan that I would let him think that I was going to sell it by sleeping with him. And I, uh, I'd film him with his kit off and threatened to send it to his wife. That's a very dangerous plan, Tracy. And then David turned up and he looked so bad. What, what on earth did he have on you that made you do all that? Or, all right, you don't have to tell me, but, but it sounds to me like we need to get the police onto this. No, I just, I, I just want to forget about it. David thinks you're playing away. Okay, he's not going to forget about that in a hurry. 
I had to tell him that, um... When I was younger, I sometimes... I used to... sleep with people... for money. Nothing. DJ doesn't hear requests. She only talks shop. And he, he's like a panda who can't figure out how his bits work. Can we not talk about my brother's bit? Oh, oh, your brother. <laughs> Didn't you tell me to experiment and meet new people a while back? Yeah. So? So I'm really not an expert at any of this. At least get his phone number. He's fit and he cooks. Well, why don't you have a crack then? He might be bisexual. I don't know, I'm off the market, kind of. Well, not, not really, but, but this is about your rubbish love life, not mine. Phone number, then I'll let it drop. Um, let me start again. Looking for you, a fancy drink after all. Right, mate? Yeah, good thanks. Is that Robert? No, I doubt it. No, no, no I think it is. Well, you can go somewhere else if you want. I'm right, whatever you want. I'm not bothered, it's alright. Who invited Dr. Hare and the eggs? I mentioned it to Aaron, but I didn't think he'd bring anyone. Hey, don't look now, but Aaron's here with his chap. We know. You just walked in. Yeah, we, we know. Ah, oh, true. Finally. Well, I might have given the DJ a golden handshake to play all your requests. You gave him a what? Money. I gave him money. <clears throat> so, do you want to dance? You ask him. Well, I just did, didn't I? Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you happy now? Yay! Go you. <laughs> do you know what? I think I fancy a little boogie too. What, to this? Yeah, good idea. No, I'd rather just sit down. Can we just sit down and have a drink? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I was crashing with my mate Keely. She worked on the webcams. <clears throat> Why weren't you at your mum's? She was drinking then, bad. She took me out for trying to stop it. Still wanted money off me for rent, though, and everything else she owed, so... Anyway, um, sometimes the men on the cams would ask you to meet in real life for extra. And sometimes I'd do it. Look, Mum would have been homeless if it weren't for me, all right? I didn't say anything. Oh, well, you were thinking it. You were 19. Yeah. And I was a different person back then. I wasn't proud of it. But I did what I had to do. And now this low life turns up, tries to make me feel like I'm dirty. <sighs> and then I have to tell Davy. <laughs> and he looks at me. If I'm nothing. Just, 
bloke I'm disgusting. He doesn't think that. Of course he doesn't. Then where is he then? Is that the Count Redhead from the salon? Benicia and Arthur Village. Let's go over. I love Benice. But Alex, wait. Um, I lied to you. I wasn't coming here to find you. Okay. Uh, I knew Robert was coming. I might just pop to the loo. Nothing's happened. But it almost did, but I haven't, I haven't cheated. Not properly, but... Look, I feel really bad for what's happened to you at work, but... I can't keep lying to you. We need to break up. Oh. oh, she's made a new friend and she's not back. talking about. Shut up, let me see. Vanessa's definitely worse wear, though, because I can't even understand the hashtags this time. Babe, scenes are quiet and Moses is with Sammy. I might just... just stay for a whole shift for once. Babe, please. Serves you right for playing it so cool. Hey, kids. I reckon this new hipster beer thing is, is going to take off. Well, obviously, it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So I've had a word with Chaz. And if one of you cover my shift now, the kitchen's all yours. Yeah? Don't forget about us when you make your first million. Pizza. Pizza for Ross. What did I say at Christmas? I backed right off. I wasn't ready then. So what changed? I just really miss him. And I thought I'd get over it, but I haven't. I, I can't. So then why let me move my stuff in? To help you. What, by making me think that we had a future? Well, then, I'm sorry. I'm going to stay at his tonight. You don't have to do that. I think I do, Harry. Alex, I swear I wanted this to work. Take care of yourself, all right? See ya. Wow! Could have saved myself a trip. What? Well, I thought she was gonna pull. A muscle, yeah, but an actual person with those dance moves, no chance. <laughs> she can! <laughs> Sorry, it's my fault. I told him we were coming. Why? Because he seemed dead worried you might meet someone. But then he brought Alex. Well, it's hardly a shock, is it? Look who's here. Yes, because your text stopped making sense and I thought you might actually get murdered. Oh, she cares if I die or not. Hey, babe, let's not run away with ourselves, yeah? Excuse us. Remember that little chat we had about lowering your expectations? Mm-hmm. It still applies, yeah? You came to find me, though. And you can! <laughs> Don't ruin it. But I'll tell him to get lost. What's well, so looking more pathetic? How you feel isn't pathetic, Rob. Well, do you want to go home? I, I just, I need to go and sober up. What am I going to be expecting you back? It's getting late. Oh, I'll tell her something came up. No, oh, go. I can finish this and keep myself busy while I wait for David. Honestly, I'd rather be on my own for a bit. Oh. <clears throat> we'll talk more tomorrow, OK? Um, and if he's not back soon, just call me. Thanks, Dad. You're perfect, OK?
Don't forget it. Honestly, I'm okay. I'm not your dad. But go on then, that works for me. Who are you hiding from out here? No one. My ex. Want to make him jealous? Oh, no, uh, it would not that you are. His boyfriend's just moved in. Must need his head checking. Come back to mine if you like. Have a drink and whatever. Gary's a really good listener. My dog, remember? <laughs> I mean, you were going to call me anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll just have my mates. You don't do gay bars? Uh, yes, yeah, I'm um, a new thing. Only if you bring at least five girls with you. It's part of the bisexual contract. You don't get your license without it. It's already been denied, mate. Crimes against dancing. It's a bit rich coming from you. <laughs> I don't make the rules. Look, um, I'm sorry about yesterday. Where's Alex? He's gone. You ready? Yeah, um, Mike, Aaron, Aaron, Mike. You right? We were just going, so, uh, you have a good night, yeah? Yeah. you again get out yeah no problem right just delete the video off your phone and then I'm gone I copied it anyway so your wife's gonna see it either way I pulled it on Trace we both know you didn't think of that you can stay away from me what happens if I don't swear no! for a start oh! Oh! what are you doing phoning the police don't let him move <laughs> Crisscross, right? There's a line. Please! I mean, who doesn't love Wigfield? No Wigfield, no Venga boys, no Shakademus and flipping pliers. Well, then I would like my money back, please, sir. Let me come and get it. Three and all. Oi! What were you playing at? Why did you bring Alex? What? I didn't. He just turned up. If you're looking for Robin, he's already left that. My bloke. Mike the chef! Uh, I'm done with this dive. Don't know about you guys. Yeah, same. Out. What have you done? Assaulted the DJ because he won't play Saturday night. Never seen him before in our lives. So... You're all bad. Wow, that escalated quickly. Come on. Come on. Out. Oh, all right, now we're missing Robert. Night, Paul. Oh, nice one. Good for him. So it says we have to keep it at 76 degrees for two hours. Then we remove the malt and we boil for another hour. Take a picture of the website. Do you really think we can make a go of it? Oh, no, I don't think, I know. Thanks for this. Stirring a stinking pot of malt. And yeah, what's better than three hours in a pub kitchen? Mm, I can think of something. This was charity, wasn't it? She said it would be OK. Did she not have a word? What do you reckon? You sure you're not just upset about your birthday? All right, yes, yeah, sorry, we'll clear up and get out. Well, these pieces were left on the doorstep. He what? 
He didn't even knock. Well, I'll call him and get our money back. I'm sorry it took so long. I've been everywhere. Said they were open online, turned up they were closed. Blatantly lying. Rubbish when it's cold, isn't it? Listen. Look, people are gonna look. You'll get used to it. Not it's all right to be scared, but you can't sit there all day, every day. It's no good for you. Scared of what? Worst things already happened to me. Mate, we got on, didn't we? Just wipe the phone and I'll go. Why? Because you care about your wife. Yeah. But you treat mine like dirt, and that's okay, is it? I'm sorry you found out what she is. It's not like I made it up, is it? Send it. Whoa, no, no, Send no. that video whoa, whoa, to his whoa, wife whoa. now. I really wouldn't do that if I was you. She's harder than what I am. Yeah, well, that's not hard to believe. Do it, Trace. Trace, you're back off. Yeah, I found you. You were needing this. It's got a load of threatening texts on it. I want to press charges for blackmail and harassment. Chris Cross will make you jump, jump. Johnny Mac will make you jump, jump. Chris Cross will make you jump, jump. Make you pay for going AWOL with a world of pain. It's a rubbish remix. And we are not those thing. They're microbrewery. Oh, I am back in the building. Will you relax? Babe, you need to get out more. Come on, age is but a number, even if it's a big one. Shots, please. What the hell? Yes! Where did you get to? It's time for a few. You know what, Paddy? If it's really that bad, maybe you should go home. <laughs> oh, my word. I am sorry I insinuated that you were old. If I had a full range of motion, I would get on the floor and I'd grovel. That's not going to happen. So instead, please accept this. It's your birthday present early. <gasps> Booking confirmation. Table for two at his favourite curry house. Wow, Pads, I am beside myself. Mm, is his favourite curry house called Cabo? Cabo San Luca? Sorry, my mistake. It's the Spanish place on the ring road. Woo, joy. No, that's closed down. <laughs> it's Mexican. Mexico. It's a month in Cabo San Lucas. As in, like, sandy beaches and tequila and, like, dead cheesy food? Yes. I mean, her birthday's not so bad after all, is it's it? It's not bad, Paddy, no. It's marvellous! <laughs> oh, oh, stop oh, it! What exactly happened? I saw the police car. Um, Was that Phil in the back? I knew him. Yeah. <clears throat> They're going to take him down to the station for questioning. And the relationship you had with Mr. Webb? Uh, it wasn't a relationship, it was just, um, sex for money. More than once? Twice, maybe three times, no more than that. I'd like to take a full statement, if you wouldn't mind coming down to the station. Yeah, of course. I said I'd pick Jake up. Right. OK. Yeah, I'll be fine on my own. No, you will not. I'll come. Oh. Can you maybe ask Alex to pop over and see me? No. Thanks very much. And put yourself out. Finished with him. You what? When? Earlier. What? <laughs> What happened earlier? Vic and Benice took Rob out to try and find him a new bloke. Right. Hang on a minute. Go back a bit. What's that got to do with anything? Oh, I went to find them because, um... I kind of wanted to stop it happening. Aaron, you did not <laughs> chill out. Save your breath. I was too late. It's five star. All inclusive, so, you know, I'm, I'm letting him make it up to me. Oh, you'll have a ball, love. Right, I'm off to the loo. Sorry again about the mix-up. I'd love to help you, but it all has to be above board. We'll find somewhere else. Thanks, anyway. Hey, don't fret. I've got a plan B and a stash of home brew that'll curl your hair. I'll tell you everything you need to know, but not a peep to your mother.
I thought you were robbing the place. Sorry. What are you doing? Um, I was just going to drink this. You OK? Something happened with that bloke? I couldn't do it. Turns out I just want to be faithful to you, even though it doesn't count. So, forget I said that. So, you didn't go back to us then? No, I, I got a taxi back here instead. Seemed like a good idea at the time. To do what? I don't know. I might have come here myself last night for five minutes. Yesterday was hard for me too, you know? I'm sorry I made out it wasn't. I just... I wanted to remember what it was like. To be happy. Alex is moving in. That's, um, that's brilliant, Aaron. Only because he's by the bust. Won't he be worrying where you are? I doubt it. I finished it with him. Y you what? I ended it. Why? Is it still on you? This is exactly why we're supposed to be keeping away from each other, Aaron. She's gonna make another mistake. It's not a mistake. Valentine's wasn't either. I was gonna break up with him and then all that stuff happened with work and I just bottled it. Because of his work? Yeah. And because I'm not going to lie, Robert, the way I feel about you is scary. I'm just sick and tired of trying to ignore it. Feeling like something's missing is too hard. I can't do it anymore. You're just upset over Alex. I'm not. I'm... I'm relieved. You haven't even given it long enough. You... Aaron, you chose him for a reason. Yeah. But for the wrong reasons, because I thought it'd help me get past you and it didn't. It just made me want you more. Well, then try someone else. I don't, I don't want anyone else. I hurt you. I forgave you, didn't I? Yeah, and it made you ill. Yep. Yeah, that's because I bottled stuff up. That's not your fault. Aaron, everything was my fault. I messed up too. You just said you're scared of being with me. No. No, I... I meant I was scared how much I love you. And knowing that I might have lost you for good. But you know what? If you don't feel the same anymore, if you... If you don't want me, then... I get it. Of course I want you, you idiot. I want you more than anything. Look, mate, can you just go to the shop and get some beers, please? I know you're worried. But he's not going to come back. Who? The pizza bloke. You know who. Are you tracking his movements, are you? You're doing better than Hotton's finest. I'm just saying it's unlikely. And how do you know, Pete? It could be out there right now. Literally out there right now. It could be anybody. Ross, this isn't you. Look, you're letting that scum win. Oh, what? And do you think he cares if I go to the chemist or not? It's no good for you. Why are you staring at me? Why are you staring at me like that, eh, Pete? Yeah, go on, get out. Why you take your tablets? I'm quite erroneous. Do you really think that you could trust me? If you can be faithful. I can. I, I know I can. Sam. 
Seb will always be that reminder, though. You might resent him. Do you think I would? Because of all that stuff I said. Well, you're only being honest. I'm not proud of who I was then. I was just as bad. Gordon resented me. I would never, ever... I could never be like that with any kid. Especially yours. And that's, that's the way I see it now, is... That's your little boy. Do you mean that? Give me a chance and I'll show you. Because I'd, I'd never force him on you. You wouldn't have to. Yeah, what, what about Rebecca? She'll be around. I'll handle it. She didn't break us up, Robert. We did. By not talking about stuff, and... That's how I ended up in prison, and that's why we've ended up here now. I'm... I'm done. I'm done lying. I'm done... I'm done keeping secrets. I'm done hurting people. So then we keep talking. Yeah. We work it out. Together. Yeah. No. I can't. I don't know. I'm sorry. I want to, but I can't. Well, Robert, I haven't got... Robert, at least tell me why. Because you left me. And I know you had to, and I know I didn't deserve you, but you, you left me. And I lost, my, I lost my husband, I lost my best friend, and I lost my home, and it, it, it's too much. I know, and I'm sorry. And you, you've got nothing to be sorry for. It's me, I'm, I'm the disaster. And you're all better now, and you're strong, and you think you want me, but... You'll figure it out. You'll realise that I'm, I'm still a terrible person. You'll go. I think I'd rather never have you back than lose you again. I'm sorry. How was it? They haven't charged him yet, but it doesn't mean they won't. I'll leave you to it. And you should get some sleep. Thanks for coming. Jake is in bed. I know it wasn't a flat tire. You just felt weird being around me after yesterday. No, that's not... Have we not had enough flights? All right. But I don't feel weird. I feel angry. That he could put you in that position and you didn't feel like you could tell me. And that you'd rather go to some grotty hotel with that, that excuse of a human being to tell your husband what was actually happening. I'm not trying to tell you. <laughs> I wanted to, but... <sighs> Things haven't been right between us for ages, and I, just... I thought it'd been the last straw. You were a kid. Who needed money, and... Um... I'm devastated that you had to do it, yeah. I don't feel any, any... any less about you. You don't? No.
So, can you stop coughing perverts to beds and attacking <laughs> people in the shop? Because I'd like to keep you in one piece, please. I'll try. <laughs> Last orders, please. Oh. Same again? Oh, no thanks, but no thanks. My dad is expecting me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Looks like it's just us then. Dan's got some chips on the go in case I want to soak up the booze. Oh, sweet. <laughs> but you're going to stay there, right? But you're fun. <laughs> but he's funner. See ya. Bye. Night party animals, as old folks turn it in. Well, you've changed your tune. Yeah, well, the thought of you minding this place for a month can do that. A month? <laughs> you and me, go. <laughs> right, I might follow their lead. We'll stop here if you want. I mean, Rona's got Johnny, hasn't she? And you're OK. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <sighs> Thought you were cool with a lack of strings. Thought you were. I am. Well, why come running, then? Because you invited me, you drunkard. Anyway, what if I said I wouldn't mind the odd string? What if I said them texts and pictures made me feel a bit sick and panicky and... <sighs> ...uncharacteristically jealous? I'd say, what have you done with my girlfriend? Girlfriend? Oh, go on, head for the hills. I'm going nowhere. Neither are you. Come here. You just shut your mouth for one minute and let me say something, right? You are a disaster. You're smug and you're arrogant and you're cocky. You've got terrible taste in music and you dance worse than Paddy and that's saying something. But I've got nothing to figure out, OK? I know you. I know exactly what I'm getting myself into. And you've tried so hard for me, for the people that you love, and not everybody sees that, but I do. You got me to talk about Gordon. And then you listened to me. And then you got me through the impossible. Liv, Liv, my little sister, you found her, you found my little sister, you. And even though she drove you nuts and she reported you to the police, you took her in as if she was your own. You saved my life. You got me out of that car in that water and you saved my life. And then you, you planned this mental wedding. You built us a home and you got me out of prison early. And then you told me the truth about Rebecca instead of trying to hide it. And then you stepped up for your son, and you fought for him. And you loved him, and you loved me. You loved me like nobody ever has before. So please, Robert, will you? Will you just come home with me? And let me help you this time? Well, go on, you can talk. I'm actually a really good dancer. I'll come on with you. I love you so much. Again. We definitely don't have a song. <laughs> I've missed you, Mr. Sugden. <laughs> Mr. Dingle. 
Ja. Julie Etchingham reports on the passionately contested subject dubbed the transgender revolution in a tonight special next, Trans Kids, The Right Response. Then straight after at 8.30, Phelan uncovers Nicholas' secret in Carnation Street.